Okay, in this screencast, what I'd like to do is show you how you could, let's say you've got a data set that has some measurement we're interested in, but it also has another variable, which is categorical, which is the groups, for example, control or treatment. And you would like to get some summary statistics, so mean, or standard deviation, or median for each group. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. In the first prac, we had a look at this. Uh, maybe even the second prac, can't remember. But in that, we use the aggregate function. So I'll recap how to use the aggregate function. There's also a package that you can add on to R called the um, plier package. And that lets you do a similar sort of thing, and it's quite nice. OK, so let's start here. First of all, I'm going to set my working directory. And I'm going to read in the wood data. So we've seen this before. We have two sorts of preservatives, high and low and we measured the amount of loss due to fungal infection. And what I'd like to do is, first of all, let's say I wanted to get the mean loss for the high group and the mean loss for the low group. Well, we can use the aggregate function. So the way you do it is aggregate, and then we use this, what we call the formula notation. So on, you put the measurement on the left of this, which is the tilde, and then you put the groups on the right. You then let R know where it will find loss and preservative. At the moment, if you just said loss and preservative, it doesn't know. You have to say, well, actually, they are in the wood data. And then you tell you which function you want. So in this case, mean. And if I run that command, you can see that for each of the various levels, and there was more levels, it would get them all. It has worked out the mean loss. If I wanted to get, for example, the standard deviation, I would just change this to standard deviation. A minute and now I get the standard deviation. What if I want to get multiple at the same time? <clears throat> well, unfortunately, aggregate doesn't let you pass in multiple in here. You have to create a new function to do it. So here I've created a function called mystat. So when I want to create a function, again, I'm doing it in a script file. I give it a name and then I let R know that it's going to be a function. And then I say, well, I'm going to pass in something. And here I'm going to pass in x. And then what it's going to do is it's going to work out the mean of x and the standard deviation of x. And it's going to bind them together in C and then pass them out. So if I run that, nothing really happens. But if we come down here, notice in functions, I've now got a thing called mystat x. So now I can do aggregate, loss on preservative, data equals wood, but now I can do mystat. If you come here, you can see it's doing the first one I said was mean got mean, the second one is standard deviation, and these match the results above. Now, if you don't want to write functions every time, as I said, there is a one called plier, so I have to load the library. If it's not already there, if you haven't ever installed it, you have to install that library first, but once it's installed, you can then say to uh, go get that library and load it, so plier. And now I use this function, the DTPLY. The first D means I'm going to give it a data frame. The second D means it's going to return a data frame. First of all, you say where the data is, so would. And then you use this command here, you go dot, and then in brackets, you list the, tr the groups. So in this case, preservative. I can actually do multiple groups as well. So I could actually, let's say there was a you know an extra group called treatment. I could have preservative, comma, treatment, comma, and whatever ones I have and it will actually produce me nice little tables for that. I then say that I'm going to do some sort of summarizing, so I use the summarize function, and then I just tell the ones I want. So I want mean, and that's going to be the mean of the loss. Standard deviation can be standard deviation of the loss, and median equals the median of the loss. So if I run this, that's exactly what it's done. It's done each group, and it's giving me the mean, standard deviation, and the median. Okay, that's it. Bye now for now.